is Optimus Prime. Peter Cullen is one of the great voices from everyone's childhood. He's lent his voice to several pivotal cartoon series, including G.I. Joe, Voltron, Dungeons and Dragons, and many, many more. Besides playing the voice of Winnie the Pooh's friend Eeyore, Peter Cullen is perhaps best known for lending his voice to the Autobot leader Optimus Prime. You've caused enough destruction for one day, Megatron. Cullen pioneered the role of Optimus Prime and has been part of the Transformers legacy since its inception in 1984. He has really helped shape the character of Optimus Prime over the years, giving him qualities of honor, valor, integrity, and it's those qualities that have really kept Optimus relevant for this next generation. Autobots, roll out! You hear him say, Autobots transform and roll out, and there's like chills that go up your spine. That booming voice, so authoritative, so clearly in charge, he really brought it to life. If Peter weren't the first inductee, Optimus Prime would have to introduce the rest of the inductees. So I think that that's how central Peter is to Transformers Hall of Fame. Just remember, there's a thin line between being a hero and being a memory. I think Peter has put a lot of himself into the character of Optimus Prime, and a lot of his personal experiences have really helped bring that character to life. We cannot let the humans pay for our mistakes. You know, Optimus and Peter are really like that father figure you kind of always wish you had. He's so clear about what the rules are. He's so clear in knowing how to lead the team. One shall stand, one shall fall. In addition to being the voice of the famed Autobot leader, Cullen also voiced the popular character of the Transformers Autobot, Ironhide. They're too fast for us in the air. Well, I'm tired of sucking their vapor trail. I'll stop them. In 2005, Hasbro announced that it had reached an agreement with DreamWorks Pictures and Paramount Pictures to produce a live-action motion picture. This resulted in several fan campaigns petitioning for Peter Cullen to return as the voice of Optimus Prime. And in performance, he's tremendous, and he leads the charge and he inspires the rest of the cast to be just that good. He is just so respectful of the character that he's created, and he recognizes the importance and the meaning that Optimus has had to the Transformers brand, to the Transformers storytelling, and to all the fans over the years. In 2006, at San Diego Comic-Con, it was a dream come true for Transformers fans when Hasbro finally announced that Peter Cullen would once again play the heroic leader of the Autobots. And we must find it before Megatron. The success of both feature films and the release of Transformers War for Cybertron have created a whole new generation of Transformers fans. You feel such a connection to so many decades of fandom and so many people who grew up in the brand and then have shared that with you know, kids of their own. And I think that for all of us, it's like sort of little, a little piece of history and a little piece of the present and a little piece of the future sort of all strung together in Peter and, and in Optimus. My name is Optimus Prime. Optimus is now such an iconic character and such a big part of pop culture, and Peter's a part of that. And I think Optimus and Peter will be eternally linked.